everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Wrestling Rampage. The two-man band is back. Right here on the Mothership Wrestling That's Rampage right. as we are going through the 2004 year. We keep on trucking. We're going to keep on trucking, and that's what we're going to do. Yes. As we get into this video right here, which is WWE Bad Blood 2004. Yes. The DVD review for you guys as we go ahead, and we're going to get started with this right Let's here right started. now. Uh, June 13th, 2004. It is a Raw brand only pay per view sponsored by Subway Eat, Eat Fresh. Fresh. That's yes. right. Subway Eat Fresh. I love Subway. That's right. I love Subway. Special too. shout out to Subway, too. Yes. You uh, make good sandwiches. Uh, then we're going to get, uh, <laughs> we get into the theme song, which Judgment Day did not have a theme song. Yeah, they had Raw some does. generic thing. Yeah, but Raw does. And yeah, I Raw gets a good fucking song, song of course. Love uh, Sold song. Me by Seether. Great fucking song, Yes, yeah, great way. fucking song. Love Seether. I thought they were a great fucking band, and it fit me. Sold Me by Seether for Bad Blood 2004 as we go into the nationwide arena in Columbus, Ohio. Yeah, Columbus, Ohio, home of uh, home of Frank Williams. Frank Williams, I'm from Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. As we get into the heat match for you guys, Charles Reed Fowler. Yeah, Charles Reed Fowler, I'm sorry, man. Batista didn't make the Bad Blood card. He, he just made it on Sunday Night Heat. <laughs> now, I know you'll still love it. He loves this match. He told me on Facebook he loves yeah, this yeah, match. Yeah, you love this match, buddy. <laughs> Maven <laughs> versus Batista. Batista. And pretty much you guys know exactly yeah, how. Yeah, you it. already know how this motherfucker went. Uh, Batista bomb, one, two, three, bye bye, Maven. <laughs> Maven Huffman, see your ass later as you job to Batista Man. Evolutions on a roll, especially on Heat. That's they right. start off on Heat. They <laughs> already got one victory. <laughs> they already got one victory. Each member except for Ric Flair is in a match. Yeah. So uh, we're going to get into this. Uh, the first match on the card for the official Bad Blood pay-per-view is for the World Tag Team Championships. Win... The champions, La Resistance, Sylvain Grenier, and Robert Conway. Yeah, no, not Rob Conway, it's Robert Conway, takes on Chris Benoit and Edge. Now, not only that, but Chris Benoit is doing double duty Yes, he's doing well. double duty here at Bad Blood. You know, he's got to do the World Tag Team title match team with Edge against La Resistance. And he has to defend his World Heavyweight Championship against Kane. Which, uh, that's going to be later in the show. Um... A, I thought it was I, a decent yeah, match. It was, it was a pretty good World Tag Team title match. A good way to start the show. You know, Chris Benoit, you know you know he can pull double duty. He's done oh, yeah. before. Oh, yeah. And Edge, stuff. you know, he's great. So, in La Resistance, they beat Edge and Chris Benoit for the tag team titles. Yes. So, they got their rematch. So, but... But Chris Benoit has Sylvain Grenier in the uh, crossface. Here comes Kane and interrupt... Big boots, Chris well, Benoit. Well, uh, like people thought uh, Conway was going to get yeah. in there, but he gets speared by Edge. Yeah, Edge spears Conway, and you then, thought you thought you thought Sylvain was about to tap out, and then yeah, and then here comes Kane. You know, he comes in, big boots Edge and Chris Benoit, then choke slam them both, and then and then he whips Chris Benoit into the steel steps, and then he walks off. He goes, he goes "There's more to come." Yeah, there's more to come. <laughs> Uh, and then we get, uh, so the winners of the match is Chris Benoit and Edge, but they won by disqualification, so the champions, still World Tag Team Champions, is La Resistance. Yeah. As we get into the next match between, uh, this is going to be the sleeper match of the yeah, night. Right yeah, yeah, can I go ahead and do this yeah, right yeah, here? Yeah, go ahead. Tyson Tomko, the problem solver. <laughs> the problem solver, Tyson Tomko, who didn't solve any, many problems. <laughs> With Trish Stratus. Yeah, with Trish Stratus. That's one of the probably only things she he got over on was because he's with Christian and Trish. Yeah. Uh against Chris Jericho, you know, on heat, he says he's gonna take the Y two J problem and handle it permanently. Ooh, what a big threat there, Tyson. <laughs> what a big threat there, Tyson. Ooh, you scared me with your fucking goatee ass. <laughs> And to be honest, fuck you, Tyson Tomko. You suck. How you like yeah. that? Yeah, you always you, you always know, sucked. You know. Uh, ends up with uh, uh, Jericho ends up doing the chalk block to uh, Tyson, Tyson Tomko, Tomko attempts the walls of Jericho gets countered out of it and uh, Tyson Tomko ends up running towards Jericho Jericho moves he hits Trish Stratus off then, the apron and again Chris Jericho wins with the running in Siguri on Tyson <laughs> Tomko one two three like then that. I see this finish at Backlash yeah it looks like uh, 
the running in Seguri. What, what the hell did, did Chris Jericho use that as a finish? Yeah, well, he, he won it again. Uh, yeah, he won it again. Uh, hey, it, it, it chalked him up the W, so I guess yeah. that's all that really matters. Uh, but easy, easy victory over Tyson Tomko. Yeah. The problem solver. He, he didn't solve He didn't solve the Chris Jericho problem permanently, did no, he? No, no. He, hell, hell, he didn't even do it fucking... Uh, Fuck, he couldn't <laughs> even solve the goddamn Val Venus problem probably. <laughs> Oh, Val! The big oh, Val he ain't Rusty. on the car here, though. No, 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 he's not. He's not. Uh, I feel sorry for him. Even though he beat Matt Hardy, but he's not on the car. That was a fluke. <laughs> fluke. As we get in uh, to uh, after this, we get uh, Randy Orton talk, uh, cuts a promo in the back talking about how how he he he's the new hardcore legend. He retired. Mick Foley put yeah. his ass out to pasture talking about how... He is in, you know, the greatness that he's in right yeah, now. Yeah, he, he, he's, he's the, the best. of 24. Yeah, and he's the best Intercontinental Champion. And, of course, the crowd don't believe him. And he comes out bitching to the crowd, you know. Yeah. So. And then here comes Shelton Benjamin out of nowhere. He goes, well, uh. How you about know, we have the Intercontinental title match right now? And fucking Randy Orton goes, no, I'm not ready. Well, but he's in his ring gear. <laughs> he's in his ring gear and his Evolution shirt. But yeah, so ready. you're ready. Oh, no, no, he wasn't wearing the Evolution tour. He, he was wearing, wearing the Legend Killer, Killer tour. tour. Yeah, the yeah. Legend Killer tour. Uh, but he goes, well, too bad. We're, we're having this match. It's for the WWE Intercontinental Championship match when the champion Randy Orton takes on Shelton Benjamin. Now, as you guys know, Shelton Benjamin is on a roll at this yeah, point. Yeah, he beat Triple H twice. He beat Randy Orton three times. He beat Ric Flair at beat, uh, Backlash. Yeah, beat Ric Flair at Backlash. But he couldn't beat Batista, though. <laughs> Yeah, that's the only you know, one he couldn't that's beat. That's the only one he couldn't beat. That's because of the help of Randy Orton. Yeah, there, Charles. I know, I know Charles loved it. <laughs> yeah, Charles a anytime loved Batista gets a win, he's happy. <laughs> he probably was happy at WrestleMania 24 when he beat Umaga. <laughs> no worries about that. <laughs> But uh, uh, you know, Ric Flair ends up walking down the uh, walking down the aisle. Yeah, get, gets a big Rick pop. Flair. Yeah, Ric Flair gets the woo pop. Here he comes in his black, black, black suit. Yeah, yeah, with the fucking uh, with, the, uh, with the with the with the wet streaks on it. <laughs> Because he was wetting his hair. <laughs> uh, then uh, Flair actually gets involved in the match. Yeah, you know, when Shelt Benjamin gets him in the figure four leg lock. And then he tried to roll up Randy Orton while he has Flair with the figure four. and He almost got it. He almost got it, but Orton kicks out. And then and then he knocks, and then he does a double clothesline to Orton and Flair. And then back drops Flair. Flair rolls out of the ring. As usual. <laughs> and uh, Shelt Benjamin climbs up to the top rope, does a diving cross body. Orton reverses it, pulls the tights to Shelton Benjamin, one, two, three, and Randy Orton retains the Intercontinental title over Shelton Benjamin. True that. Uh, great match, by the way. Yeah, it was. It was a good match. Uh, then we get a WWE Women's Championship match. Now, this is a fatal four-way. Yes. Uh, we have the champion Victoria puts her championship on the line against Gail Kim, uh, Trish Stratus, and Lita. Yes, this was a pretty good fatal four-way match. Uh... You know, you got, I'm sorry, I'm not big a Gail Kim fan, but at least she can work. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'd rather put Molly Holly in there if it was my decision. But again, I ain't the booker. <laughs> I ain't the booker. So, uh. Wait, but, well, wait, did you say, uh, did you say hooker or booker nah, there, Doc? I said, I said booker. <laughs> and, um, you know, uh, Lita what? does the uh, DDT on Gail Kim. And Trish Stratus rolls up Lita while she was going for the cover on Gail Kim. One, two, three. Trish Stratus is now a five-time women's champion. Yes, that's right. Great match. Uh, I really enjoyed this match. Yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah, so, I mean, uh, you know, if, if you want to look at some of the re uh, the Ruthless Aggression uh, era. They always had good women's matches. Uh, they always had good women's matches. You guys need to check this one out. I bet yeah. from Bad Blood. Uh, and then we get, oh, God, here we go. I'm going to say this. Yeah. Tommy's favorite match on the card. Oh, yeah, this is probably the greatest match on fucking Bad Blood history. <laughs> Way better than the Undertaker and Shawn Michaels Hell in a Cell match. I'm talking about it is way better. Uh, Jonathan Coachman versus Eugene. <laughs> As you guys know, Eugene uh, is um, quote unquote Eric, Eric Bischoff's nephew. nephew. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you know, and of course, he, he oh, William Regal's barred from ringside for this yeah, match. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know. You know. Uh, Eugene wants to try out to be a professional wrestler on on the Raw brand, so he wants to talk about talk to his uncle Eric and to get him in. to get him into a match. And he got him in a match where Jonathan Coachman goes, "I'm gonna take care of." Him. Yeah. <laughs> well, here we go between Jonathan Coachman and Eugene. Uh, 
William Regal was barred from ringside during this match. Uh, uh, this match was kind of goofy in a way. This match, no, you want me to tell you what I thought of the match? The match sucked. How do you like that? Anything, and Coach comes out with his Michigan shit on. <laughs> And he's from Kansas. <laughs> he's from Kansas, but he's, but he's wearing the Michigan Wolverines. Yeah, the Michigan Wolverines. Shout out to you, Charles. I know you like the Michigan Wolverines, buddy. Also, also, also 4K as well. Uh, yeah, we know you like, we know y'all like in Michigan Wolverines. Uh, we're just joking with you guys. Yeah, we know we're just you guys are in the glorious Michigan. Yeah, we know there's a lot of good things that come from Michigan. <laughs> Eminem. The Steiners. The Steiners, Kid Rock. Can you name anyone else? <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, a, a, a chick <laughs> comes out in her panties. Yeah, some chick from the Royal Diva Search. I didn't know who the cunt's name yeah, was. Yeah, I, I, I didn't. They didn't really give a fuck because they were all untalentless hacks anyway. <laughs> uh, just lingerie models from fucking Vivid or fucking, hell, oh, that's a porn site, but who gives a fuck? <laughs> they probably did that yeah, afterwards anyway. Yeah, did that too. Um, <laughs> Sunny did it. Yeah, so... <laughs> You know, come she from, comes out from with a the Maxim magazine or fucking Playboy or fucking uh, a Sports p- Illustrated swimsuit. She comes out in her panties with yeah. a goddamn fucking co- with a with a batch of cookies. Yeah, I wonder if they were Deborah's cookies. You know, uh, <laughs> Tommy Dreamer steps yeah, on them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so Eugene grabs the, grabs a few of the cookies and getting coach rams them in the goddamn rams them on the platter. Yeah, rams them. And, and then and then grabs Eugene, rams him in the turnbuckle about three times. Eugene, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's hulking up. Yeah, he's hulking up in his fucking blue tights. <laughs> and uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I like Nick Dinsmore, but Eugene stunk to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, G- Garrison and, and, Kane. And then, and then, no, the, no, the funny part, you know, Eugene's rounding house, right? He's pounding away, he misses one punch because Coach falls down <laughs> before that punch came in. And then, and then uh, Garrison Kane comes in, some fan, some rat, handed him a teddy bear. <laughs> yeah. And, uh... And fucking uh, Garrison K rips the head off of it, and, and then Coach, then Garrison K gets on there, grabs Eugene. Coach runs, accidentally nails Garrison Cade, and then fucking Eugene does the rock bottom, a shitty one, and, and the people's elbow, one, two, three, beats Jonathan Coachman, and then here's where the botch happened right here. <laughs> you know, and then he stuns Garrison K. Garrison K took it wrong. You know, he fell way before Eugene did, and it looked like shit. <laughs> it did look like shit. And then he stuns. The coach, the coach did it better than fucking Garrison fucking K, Garris K did. And then here comes Regal. William Regal, you know, saying good job and all that, and and then, and then uh, he does fucking swing set on the goddamn rope. <laughs> yeah, like a fool. Yeah, like a moron. And then uh, that, that's pretty much the end of that match. Yeah. So, so Eugene beats wins, wins his pay per view debut match over Jonathan Coachman, who was undefeated. Yeah, yeah, Jonathan Kosher was undefeated. He was he, undefeated. He, he 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 beat Yoshihiro Tajiri. Yeah, he was undefeated on on pay per view. He was. Yeah, well, you you, you know, anyway, well, undefeated well, well, no more. Well, see, that, that, that's what happens when, when you wear the Michigan colors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you lose, you lose. Yeah, you should have known better. <laughs> and then we get to the main event. No, it ain't the main no, event. No, it's not the main event of Bad Blood, baby. We get the World Heavyweight Championship match between Chris Benoit. And Kane. Yes, uh, Kane won a battle royal to get this uh, world heavyweight title match. Uh, and uh, I thought this was just thrown together. Because mm-hmm. they didn't really have no big feud for this match, to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, he just won the battle royal, and it's like, well, you're going to meet him at Bad Blood, and it's just like, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, it was a pretty good match, though. Kane well, yeah. and Chris Benoit put on a pretty good world, ta- world heavyweight title match. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chris Benoit caught Kane when he was doing the flying clothesline, gets Kane in the cross face, and uh, Kane fights out of that. And then Chris Benoit switched to the other side and tried to get him in the cross face. He's got him on his knees, got Kane on his knees. Chris Benoit does a roll up. One, two, three, beats Kane with the roll up, and Kane's pissed off. Yes, with is. his elbow pads coming off. Remember that? <laughs> yes. And he's holding his elbow pads while he's pissed off. Hey, he's just holding his like, fuck! <laughs> And then Chris Benoit retains the world heavyweight title over Kane. Now I want to know right here, all right? And then we had a little backstage interview where yeah. you know Chris Benoit tells him what he had to do. You know, yeah. I'll win any way I can. You damn yeah. right. Fuck it. Yep. Yeah. If you win by a roll, it fuck it, take it. And then we get the main event. The main event of of Bad Blood 2004. But 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 before we get into that, I, I want to say usually the world heavyweight championship is on the line. It's usually the main event. Yeah, it is. Now, you know, I'm not saying that, uh, you know, 
it should have went this way, but, uh, you know, uh, you know, it, they kind of downplayed it, uh, Benoit, you know. His world heavyweight uh, title uh, uh, match uh, here. Uh, Reign, because, uh, you know, r right after the Triple H and, and, and Shawn Michaels feud from WrestleMania and yeah. Backlash, it's like he kind of, like, he got shoved up the card, and yeah. even though he's the world heavyweight champion. Yeah, he kind of got <laughs> diminished here. But we get to the main event of Bad Blood. Yes, uh... Hell in a Cell match, Triple H versus Shawn Michaels. And, of course, this led from the whole thing of the seven years, you yep. know, seven years in the making. And, and to be honest, you want me to be honest, oh. I was tired of this feud by this time. Uh, yes. It was getting old to me. Yeah, it, it, it was getting pretty old. I, I was hoping this was... You know, I, I was hoping this would end the motherfucker. Yeah, 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 th that this would be the end of the Shawn Michaels. Like, I like Shawn Michaels and Triple H rivalry, but... Uh, it was getting old. Yeah, yeah, it was getting old pretty fast. You know, it, it was. Getting... It's been since fucking two thousand two. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, granted, they did spur off for a little bit, but you, you know, th this has been ha uh, th 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 their last encounter that they had was at the Royal Rumble. Yeah. And it's like, hmm, can we hurry up and end this feud? <laughs> uh, but we get a Hell in a Cell match. Uh, Sean ends up getting uh, uh, bloodied by the by the stairs. Yes. Uh, uh, the still steps. Triple H gets gets busted open by getting hit hit in the head with the chair, uh, and also it gets he gets recut open because uh, he gets rammed with a ladder. Yeah, and, and be honest, this was a great Hell in a Cell match. I I now granted I I did talk about Benoit being showed up the card. I see why. I the see Hell in a why Cell. the Hell in a Cell match was the main event. I could see why. Yes, I could see why it was the main event. And but. You know, I could definitely see why this was a great fucking match. But see, you know, I, I just don't understand why they just kind of threw Kane and Benoit yeah. together. Yeah. You know, j just to have a world championship match. Yeah. Um, and uh, Triple H ends up going through uh, a table. Yeah, Shawn Michaels, Shawn, Michaels. Does, Shawn Michaels climbs the ladder and dives, does the elbow through the table on Triple H. This was a great fucking Hell in a Cell match. It was. And uh, and took three pedigrees to put away Shawn Michaels. But, but it wasn't in a row. It was pedigree down on the ground for yeah, like Down on the ground for a few minutes. <laughs> then another pedigree, pedigree yeah. down on the ground for a few minutes. And then another pedigree. And then, Shawn, then Triple H gingerly <laughs> places the arm over. <laughs> One, two, three. And it's over. In standard fashion... Standard fashion, I see Evolution come out and fucking carry Triple H's goddamn carcass. I see that every fucking year. Every fucking paper. Every you fucking paper. I don't know if you all see it, but every fucking paper you always see Evolution come yeah. out. Yeah, here comes Triple H with the big win. Here comes fucking Here Evolution comes Orton, now. Batista, and Flair. And fucking carrying Triple H's carcass. <laughs> carrying, carrying Triple H's bloody carcass to the fucking back. Yeah. Every fucking paper. I'm not getting watch, yeah, watch, watch. You can watch an 03. You can watch an 04. You probably even could watch an 05. Or, or, early 05. Yeah. You see it. Yeah. Uh, you it, see it almost every fucking yeah, paper. Yeah, it's the same fucking thing. They're fucking carrying this bloody fucking carcass out, out, out the goddamn fucking room. And uh, they went 47 minutes and 27 20 seconds. seconds. So this was a great fucking Hell in a Cell match. Uh, one of the longest Hell in a Cell yeah, matches. Yeah, one of the longest Hell in a Cell matches. Uh, but I could see why it main evented yeah, Bad Blood. Yeah, I, I could see why it main evented Bad Blood. It should have main evented. And then uh, uh, HBK finally starts standing up. They play his theme song, yeah. Standing Ovation for HBK. Yeah, and then Fade to Black, WWE logo. That's the end of Bad Blood 2004. That's, uh, that is the end of Now Bad we'll Blood. get to the extras here. The extras, we got the promo between Benoit and Kane. There wasn't that much there. Yeah. Triple H and Shawn Michaels. Triple H's Hell in a Cell highlights. Triple H beats Sean. Sean beats Triple H. That's that's why we got tired of yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Sunday Night Heat. We get an interview with La Resistance, Tyson Tomko, and Trish Stratus, and then we get the the sweet ass Batista uh, versus Maven match. Yep. Oh, oh I your mention, favorite, your yeah, favorite. Yeah, I gotta mention this. The the exclusive extras for Bad yeah. Blood. Oh yeah. Eric Bischoff talks to Eugene after his match. He's like, "Yeah, Uncle Eric, I won. I, I'm a wrestler." And fucking, you, fucking Eric Bischoff shows fucking Eugene, eh. 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 like a fucking idiot. <laughs> he falls into the into fucking, a leather chair. Yeah, falls into the fucking leather couch. And fucking, and then we uh, and then we got Kane interrupts Lee's post match phone call from Charles Reed Fowler's favorite wrestler of all time, Matt Hardy. <laughs> Matt Hardy and fucking. 
Cain wants a kiss from Lita. She kisses him on the cheek. Is that the best you could do, Lita? <laughs> yeah. Is that the best you could do, Lita? And then pretty much. No, I'm doing it just like. <laughs> yeah, you are doing it just like Cain. Go back, go watch that. It's fucking hilarious. I, I, I'm sorry, I make fun of shit. I'm sorry. Uh, but if, if you want, if you want the end all be all of it, the tag, the world tag team title match was pretty good. The uh, women's fatal four way match, tag team, the IC uh, title yeah. match, uh, Ben Juan Kane, and then I see why Hell in a Cell yeah. was the best match on the card. So if you guys want to go back up, Bad Blood overall, pretty good pay per view. Yeah, it was, no it was a pretty good pay per view. Way better than Judgment Day. Yeah, way better than Judgment Day, with the exception of Eddie Guerrero and JBL. Yeah, uh, Booker T and Undertaker. Yeah, and uh, the tag team match between the Dudleys and Rey Mysterio and Rob Van Dam. But come back as we're going to be reviewing WWE. Yes, yes. <laughs> come back right here to Wrestling Rampage show. You can see. That glorious Great American Bash 2004 review, because you're damn sure going to be loving that. <laughs> yes, you're going to be loving the Great American Bash 2004. Oh, I can't wait for that. <laughs> I, I, I've been waiting for this one. <laughs> yes, yes, Tommy has. He's been waiting for the Great American Bash, so we're going to be getting into that here soon. So make sure you guys come back so you guys can finish up the 2004 pay-per-view DVD review for you guys. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WrestleRampage2. Follow us on Twitter, at WrestleRampage. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you guys want to send us something for Mailbag Monday, you guys can do that through our P.O. Box, Joseph Flat, F-L-A-T-T, at P.O. Box 6005 in Elizabeth Town, Kentucky, 42702. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to one of the best damn wrestling YouTube channels going today. Wrestling Rampage. I want you to take it away. If you don't subscribe right here to Wrestling Rampage, then I guess you just don't know...